It's my, my pleasure and uh, welcome uh, all of you to the presentation of our uh, new electrified solution for city buses. Uh, the product is called uh, Axtrax 2 LF and it's the first time that we present this product uh, in Italy today. Yeah? This product is now our, let's say, answer to the transformation of the public transport uh, from a supplier point of view. Yeah? This is our solution for the coming years to electrify the city bus electrification. Yeah, just, just as an introduction, uh, perhaps you are aware that uh, ZF Group um, made the acquisition of uh, Wapco in 2020. And uh, in the meantime, the integration is still ongoing, but uh, we have them now under one roof of our new division, so-called commercial vehicle uh, uh, division, so commercial vehicle solutions. And uh, we are now, uh, I can say, the leading supplier for commercial vehicle industry. We have uh, 28,000 employees and uh, made a, s a total sales last year of 8.7 uh, billion euro. And uh, our target is to be the one-stop shop supplier, the partner for the commercial vehicle industry globally. Yeah, on this, <coughs> on this uh, slide you see uh, our expectation, our trend scenario for uh, different vehicle segments and you see that uh, the bus has a, a different development compared to the truck but now you see also that the truck is uh, moving up. Uh, the, the city bus was the front runner, it's clear. Yeah? We, we are all from the industry here, we are all the experts. Uh, the question why why is the city bus the front runner yeah it's clear it's it's closer to the people yeah it's public transport and uh, it was the enabler for electrification but now we see uh, because of the legislation the EU legislation now the electrification is is ramping up yeah we have heard uh, from Flavio from the, from the UITP presentation uh, that we can expect a two-digit uh, growth until 2030 for electric buses, but uh, the question is in which uh, vehicle size does this uh, growth take, take place? I need to go one back ah, here. Yeah, the, the UITP uh, bus fleet service also um, investigated uh, and came to the result that the high capacity buses will grow and we see the same in our, our studies that means uh, the, the capacity, the passenger capacity will increase and also the vehicle size will increase. Yeah, the question is why? Yeah, there are different reasons uh, why this um, uh, vehicle sizes will grow. Yeah? One, one topic, it's a big topic also at UITP is the, the driver lack. Yeah? The lack of uh, drivers will also accelerate uh, the development of high capacity buses. The other, the other topic is the urbanization. Yeah? All the cities grow, uh, Milan grows, Berlin grows, and you can see that also in Italy. Yeah? The recent orders in Italy, Tipo Bologna ordered 25 articulated buses, Trento ordered uh, articulated buses, Vicenza ordered uh, trolley buses. So we see this all over. And we have to adopt our product strategy to this uh, trend. So we, we as ZF, our strong side of ZF is uh, to to use the synergies, to use the synergies among different vehicle segments, vehicle platforms, and what we have done now on the commercial vehicle side, we use the, the scale effect and the synergies together with truck and bus. 
We cannot afford an e-mobility solution just for the bus. This costs millions of euro. We need a platform. And what you can see here is our platform. It's all in-house uh, developed platform. So we use the same motors, the same inverter technology, the same electronic unit. And we have also, not only because we are ZF, we use a, a transmission in the e-motor. We like transmission, you know, this is our, our DNA, but we are convinced this is the more efficient way uh, to integrate, uh, uh, in this case, a three-speed transmission into our solutions. And you see uh, in, the, in the bottom that with the same components, we uh, produce electrical axles. Uh, for trucks, but also for coaches, for intercity buses. On the right side, you see the classical central drives for trucks, for coaches, for intercity buses, but also for city buses. And in the middle, you can see the solution for the low floor city bus. For all different sizes, you have seen for the 12 meter, for the 18, for the 24 meter buses. Just to, to highlight what is, the, what is the innovation. The innovation of our completely new designed excellence, it's a really a new development, is uh, the, the motor technology, the hairpin technology, uh, combined with a controlled oil cooling. Yeah? The cooling is always the critical part of uh, those kind of uh, drive systems, and uh, you need to to adapt uh, a, a cooling system which is, which is also adaptable. For instance, when the, the bus is cold, we need less cooling. Yeah? When it's hot, when it's running uphill, fully loaded, we need more cooling. And this is a real uh, big innovation. We work with highly efficient 800 volt uh, silicium carbide inverters. Um, and we use also as, as all the time in our solutions, standardized parts. So axles uh, uh, use standardized brake components, air springs, uh, shock absorbers. So, so you, as a manufacturer, as an operator, uh, you can use uh, the standard components. And we are technology open. We use this axle uh, for all kind of uh, electrical vehicles, but also for the for the fuel cells, but also for the for the trolley buses. Yeah, what's the the outcome? So in the future, you know this, and but but we have really considered this as the main target is energy efficiency. So compared to our previous solution, we have 10% uh, higher efficiency, which means for the drive of a bus, 10% uh, less energy consumption, yeah? which you can use in lower batteries or, or higher range, whatever. Yeah? So, so efficiency is the new gold of the future for electrification. We, we have a 20% climbing capacity only with one driven axle for 29 tons. However, we offer all the solutions. We uh, support uh, articulated buses as a pusher, as a puller, or if you like a 6x4 application as well. So, so it's up to the OE what they will offer, but we will support this uh, solution. Yeah. So, so um, in this uh, picture here, you see uh, a solution with a 6x4, but uh, it's normally needed for, for heavy, heavy operation, yeah? like Stuttgart, Zürich, etc. Yeah, also, digitalization, or in this case, uh, connectivity of our products uh, together with the system, the fleet system, the diagnostic system is also uh, a big topic uh, which we work on and uh, it's very much linked to software. Uh, in ZF Group worldwide uh, we have uh, 3,000 engineers working only with uh, software so this is a really big topic and uh, this product is also 
uh, an enabler for connectivity for digitalization. Yeah? And uh, because, because uh, think about uh, condition monitoring, health monitoring, yeah? you can uh, in, a, in a remote way in the future always ask, hey, dear ZF Axel, how are you? Yeah? Are you running okay? How is the temperature? Everything fine with you? Okay, run. It's all about uptime and this is what we enable with our connectivity solution. Yeah. This, this brings me uh, <coughs> to the summary already. Yeah, it's a new system which will prepare the future for us. And uh, we, we do here we, a hol holistic approach which should also re reduce the, the complexity both for the vehicle manufacturers but also for the operators. This is uh, what we have learned in all the interviews, all the discussions with the operators, the complexity is too high and here I think we will uh, bring our contribution to this. And last but not least, we are technology open and we help to reduce the, the TCO. So thank you very much for your attention.